Hello, I'm Tilly Douglas and I want to just give a quick flick through of this tag art journal today and then I want to show you how I made the actual book itself. So I'm going to give you all the, the measurements and everything that I did and the paper that I used. But to start with, I just do a, a very quick flip through and I just used a piece of fabric that I thought coordinated really well with it. And I've only cut it really roughly, just a strip of fabric. And I've just left it all frayed, there's all bits hanging off, but I love that about it. So I just tied it onto the ring binder. So very simple. And these images are just so lovely and quirky. I love anything quirky. So these just suit me. I just love them. So I've called it Make Imagination Real. So quick flip through of all the images and the tags that I've used. And at the tops, I've just put various bits of trim. I mean, look at this little pug Buddha sat on a cushion i think it's so cute so i've just put like this is a little bit of washi tape folded over and used as a little bit of trim just bits of string more washi tape all these images i've got off creative fabrica so i've got another video where i show how i do the backgrounds i've done it like a three-part little mini series really because one video would have just been far too long but so i've got a video where i show how i do all the the backgrounds and then another one where i finish the book off put the images on do all the borders and the trim and all that sort of stuff and then this one is where i'm going to show you how i actually designed the book itself so just showing you quickly each page I just think they're so funny. It just makes me smile, this book, because I just... its a bit. Some of them are a little bit dark, but I just love them. I think they're just so funny. <laughs> and they appeal to my sense of humour. So most of the images are just one image stuck on, but ones like this, this is two images, the frame and the little elf lady separately. So that's just two images stuck there, but I thought they worked really well together. <laughs> Reminds me of me. <laughs> On a good day. <laughs> but aren't they fab? I just love them. So it's a really quick and easy way to make an art journal. So very, very simple to do. So that's all the, the pages themselves. Now I'll show you exactly how I made it and put it all together. So the, the paper that I've used is this Arteza watercolour pad. And it's just fabulous. It's £140 weight, 300 GSM. Um, it's a 9 by 12 inches, which is 22.9 by 30.5 centimeters and it's a really sturdy it's like card really it's not it's thicker than just paper so it works really well for the the tag journal because because it's nice stir and sturdy it gives a bit more rigid rigid what's the word <laughs> rigid rigidness <laughs> It's a bit sturdier <laughs> than just paper. So it works really well for a tag journal. So I'll show you the measurements and how I do it all. So I use my Fiskars cutter. And I like this little cutter because I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, but it's got a wire that's in there. And that shows exactly where the cut line is. So... I hope you can see that there. But it's an it's a nice little cutter. I mean it's nothing special, it's just a just a nice little cutter. Now this is 30.05 centimeters 
and because this is the edge where it's been torn out of the pad i just cut that edge off and i it cuts the edge off makes it nice and neat and it also gives me 30 centimeters which i then cut in three so it just works out perfectly so i put my little and this pulls out to make it longer which is really handy so i put that on 30 and then just cut that little end off there And then I cut each of these, makes, I make three tags, each of them 10 centimetres wide. I put the first one on 10 centimetres. Cut that one. And then two more at 10 centimetres. That gives me three at the same size and then each one of these i cut at 18 centimeters i keep that bit of card because i use this for all sorts of things So that's my three tag sizes. So finish with that now. And then I take one of the tags and I mark it three centimeters down from the edge. On both sides. Just because I want all the tags the same size. And then two centimeters from the outside edge in. And you, you can draw a line or you can just cut straight across. I usually just cut straight across, but I'll just do a quick line to join those little points up. There. And then just snip them off. I only measure the first one because then I've got a template to use for the others. So for the others, I just put them on top of each other like that and just snip across. So much easier. There. So then we have to put our holes down the side and in the top. So I mark from the bottom two centimeters, seven centimeters, and twelve centimeters. And then at the top across here, this is six centimeters. So I mark across to three centimeters and that's the center. So then I use my cropper dial to make the holes. You don't have to use a cropper dial, you can use any hole punch, but I, I've got this, so this is what I use. And it's got three hole settings. It's got the three sixteenths of an inch and it's got a one eighth of an inch. 
so i use the 3 16th of an inch which is the bigger one and it's also got a handy little guide that you can move along and do the depth of the hole so it makes it really easy for getting them all in the same place so with this what i do is put it on the mark and push it forward and it stops at the depth mark so i just punch my hole take that bit out of there do the next one punch that hole And then the next one. And then at the top. And that is that tag done. So then, to measure it up. Now, with this watercolour paper, it's more textured on one side than the other. So I like to get them all the same way around. Because you can see this is a lot smoother. So I do like to have them the same way round. So if that's something that bothers you, just, just make sure to have them the same way. So then I line them up so I don't have to measure them all again. I just line them up. And then in the very centre of those holes, I put just a little dot. all four so when I come to do my holes makes it very simple I just make sure that I haven't got a piece of card stuck in there so when I go across I can get that lined up exactly over that hole you can see that there so I can see the little pencil mark and then I know they're all in the same place. Once you've done your first one with the measurements, it's just so much easier. Yeah, it's two done. And then I just go along and do them all the same way. I don't worry about the pencil marks because they get painted over. So I don't worry about that. So that's how I do the tags. So I've got all my pages all ready for my tag journal. I used six pages of this watercolour pad. And that makes three from each sheet. So 18 tags in total. So it really works out really quite inexpensive to make your own tag journal. So all the holes are punched in, they all line up nicely. So the next thing is to get these, well, I've used one inch ring binder clips. So because they all look, line up nicely, just simply put them in, do them up. And then the next one. So it's very, very simple to make and very cost effective. And the beauty of these tag journals is it's not attached into an, a new art journal book. So if you do one of these tags and you mess up on it and you really don't like it, then you just take it out. You don't need to put it in without having to tear a page out. So it really works lovely. So, all three clips go on really nicely. There is a bit of room in there if you want to put more in there. But don't forget when you've got your images on, it will be thicker because you've got the thickness of the images, you've got all your paint on there, and it does thicken it up. So, that can still fit more in there if you want to. Or you can be, use bigger ring binders. So this is a quick little 
hope you can make sense of it it's a bit rough <laughs> but i just wanted to show you the measurement so if you want to take a screenshot of that to so you can see all the measurements that i've used um i'll just leave that there and you can see it speaks for itself i think doesn't it really so you can just take a screenshot of that if you want to so in the next video i show you how i make the backgrounds um all these they're just it's just so so simple to make them and that's just these sort of backgrounds that i've made it looks very very effective and i put once i've decorated them i I put little um, eyelets in them as well. So that's just some of the ones that I've made. So I'll leave the link for the backgrounds video in the description below this video. And then there's also a, a video showing how I finish them. I've put the images on and do all the outlines and all that sort of stuff. So two more videos if you want to watch them, which I will leave the links below for so i hope you enjoyed that um, please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and hopefully i'll see you in the next video bye for now